It's easy to argue that Henry Ford had a tremendous impact on this world. I don't think anyone would dispute that. He used refined petroleum, the internal combustion engine, four wheels, and a means of operating and guiding the machine, and he made it all affordable. I'm going to say he put the Ford in affordable. Even the men who made, who assembled his cars, could afford to buy them. The changes in the way people led their lives were immense. The resulting interconnected system of highways, the sheer mobility of so many individuals at such high rates of speed, in relative safety, along with the amazing capacity to transport goods more swiftly into virtually any location, all of this combined to radically alter the way people lived. The change was from the way you had to live to the way you wanted to live. You could live a highly impractical life and get away with it because of the car. Of course, Henry Ford was not the only one involved in car manufacture. There were many who tried, and some survived, some thrived. But Ford can be singled out. He was a man of huge ambition and eventual success. He knew that his product would change the way people lived, and it did. Walt Disney, while not as obvious, was another who changed the world. His workers made cells which could be assembled into movies. He made a big hit out of those animated films, but he really began building his personal empire when he got into television. Television was as astonishing and far-reaching as the automobile when it came to the effects on a culture. In a way, both the car and the television are about transport. The automobile provides physical transportation while TV transports images, personalities, news, stories. It's very nearly a living presence in the home, sometimes the most remarkable member of the family, certainly a tireless, no pun intended, entertainer. The car was an external vehicle. Television ruled the internal world. Walt Disney didn't invent television, of course, but he used it as his lever, his rocket ship. The timing was perfect for him. The great theme parks followed because of the enormous television audience locked into the entire Disney concept. The children five times a week in the afternoon on the Mickey Mouse Club and the entire family on Sunday nights when Walt himself would play host and say a few words before each show. This was a fabulous and powerful combination. The Disney empire was revolutionary in that it had a mouse for a hero. The Disney ethos was contained in the song by Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio. The artistic reach of Disney was expressed in Fantasia. Everything else was a reinforcing triumph of fantasy and sentiment and happy endings, with the exception of Old Yeller and the Alamo. Disney's most stunning cultural reversal may have come in the movie Bambi. For centuries, the leader of the society of any groups of, hunt, of humans was the hunter. The hunter provided food. People blessed with a great hunter survived. But in Bambi, the hunter is a dark force. The hunter is evil, a killer. Bambi, not the hunter, is the star in the movie. Of course, people no longer had to hunt for their food. It was delivered to them. To the extent that the message in the movie sunk in, the audience became a nation of Bambis. You could say that the entire generation of baby boomers, the ones who watched the Mickey Mouse Club and Bambi, the hippies who wanted to make love, not war, who wanted to tune in, turn on, and drop out, were a bunch of Bambis, while the hunters were far away, plying their dark trade in another world. Someone made a movie about them and called it The Deer Hunter. In many ways, we're still a bunch of Bambis, wanting to do good, abhorring violence, not understanding it at all. We're trying to fight peaceable wars, employ some form of gun control while enduring terrorist attacks and occasional massacres. Mother, why are they shooting at us, Bambi might say. Run, Bambi, run, would be her only reply. But you can only run so far and for so long. The pendulum swings. Eventually the Bambis will give way to a new group of hunters, another vast change in the mindset. That will be a very different world.